This week read the portion of Ayachi, and tomorrow when the Torah portion is concluded, we will all cry out together, Chazak, Chazak, when it's Chazak. Let's strengthen ourselves and be strong to go on to learn and study the book of Shemos. And in Ayachi, the Torah tells us how Yaakov is ready to pass on from this world. He calls his son Yosef and tells him, I want you to promise to me that when I pass away, that you're going to take my remains and bring him to the land of Canaan, the land of Israel. Don't allow me to be buried in the land of Egypt. And then Yaakov turns to Yosef and he says, I know that you may have harsh feelings against me. Here I'm asking you to trouble yourself and to take me all the way from Egypt to the land of Canaan. And yet when your mother Rachel passed away, I didn't do that. I buried her right on the roadside. If it's so important where you're buried, why didn't you make sure my mother Rachel was buried in the proper burial? Yaakov tells Yosef, don't have any harsh feelings. I did so by divine instructions. God wanted Rachel to be buried there so when the Jewish people go into exile, they will be able to pray at our mother Rachel's grave and she will intercede on their behalf. And God promises the show of one the rule of the Jewish people will return back to their homeland. And I thought that this, there's a very important lesson over here. Yosef was Yaakov's dear son. Whatever Yo- Yaakov wanted, Yosef would have done for him. And who knows if Yosef, Yosef even had these feelings and thoughts about his father. Yet Yaakov said, if there is a possibility that Yosef may be thinking like that, let me explain it to him. I don't need him to walk around with any negative feelings. Why did my father not bury her there? Why is he asking me and he didn't do it himself? Let me explain it to him. Even though Yosef would have done it with a happy heart. And likewise, we have to know that when we are in a similar situation, where we have to turn out to others and they'll do it for us. And they'll do it for us for a happy heart. But if there is any thought of any harsh feelings or some misunderstanding and where the person can question why and you say, who cares? They'll do it anyways. Not, not important. No. Let's take a lesson from Yaakov Avinu to explain ourselves, to make it clear to the other person why I did this way and why I'm asking you to do this for me or why it has to get done. And when we do that, A, the person will do it with much more enthusiasm, excitement, and happiness and joy. And will avoid any, any negative thoughts that can go into one's mind. Hashem bless us to serve God with a happy heart. God should give us proper insight to see and understand what what is going around us. And may we merit to see the coming of Mashiach speedily in our day. Shabbat Shalom.